In this video, we're going to go over some modifications for the Pilates 100 exercise. And the reason why we're going to modify this exercise is because the traditional 100 exercise, where we flex up into position, can be uncomfortable for people with scoliosis. For the traditional exercise, you will usually round from your spine and have to really lift your head and neck, which can strain for some people and be uncomfortable. So in this modification, we're going to do level one, where you'll bring one knee up into a tabletop position, use your breath to engage your abdominals as we did with centering, and then create up and down movements of your arms to challenge your core. For level two of this exercise, we'll bring both legs up into a tabletop position, engage those abdominals, and use arms up and down to challenge the core, making sure that the pelvis is staying level, we're not seeing any rotation, and that we're keeping our ribs from lifting up. Now, if these are too easy and you feel you have very good control of your head and neck and no neck pain or issues, you can go to level three of this exercise where you can use a ball to help support your upper back as you're performing. Bring both legs up into a tabletop and bring the arms up and down to increase the challenge. The ball gives you some support to your thoracic spine so that you don't have to spend so much time in a very flexed position, which for many people with scoliosis may be uncomfortable.